Hi everyone, welcome to Water Goddess Tarot. So today we have a pick a card on a yes or no. So this yes or no reading is like it applies to all areas of your life. It can be related to your career, your love life and you know just any question something as random as should you get the top which you saw the other day in the mall or something like that it can be something very meaningful it can be something extremely platonic as well all right so everything doesn't have to be serious in life there were many people who told me to do this quick yes or no reading so that is why i'm doing it and certainly i'll come up with a love reading also because many of you have asked me to come with a love reading so yes and one more thing because i stay in mumbai which is in india and over here the festival of uh, ganpati is going on you might hear a lot of sound because it's the time of the surgeon right now but i really wanted to do this video quickly so yes if you get to hear any sounds or etc please ignore because any which way this is going to be a very short reading at least that is what i have planned in my head so now i'll introduce you to five piles this is pile number 1 pile number 2 pile number 3 pile number 4 and pile number 5 i'll give you a close up as well pile number 1 is this is a kunzite bracelet if you feel drawn to this this is pile number 1 then pile number 2 is the this is a rudraksham clear quartz bracelet then we have pile number 3 this is a pixu bracelet basically i cannot recall the entire name of this bracelet to be very honest with you but i find it really attractive and it helps in drawing money so yes and this is a rose quartz and this one is the last pile the evil eye bracelet you know over here uh, for this bracelet i would have you know just stop the video figure out the name and come back again but then i wasn't in the mood to i just wanted to keep it raw so whichever you feel drawn to the most just go for that all right so we'll begin with pile number 1 that is the kunzite bracelet and let's see if you get a yes or a no please take your time think of your question before clicking on the time stamps okay let's go and yes before we begin with the reading i have come back to just add that please like share subscribe and comment and stay tuned for new videos and please show some love because that is what i need at this point of time all right so yeah like share comment subscribe and stay tuned because i have a lot of content coming up because i am celebrating the festival at this point of time i'm so damn occupied with my with just me enjoying to be honest <laughs> because i have a life as well and i really love festivals to be honest so at this point of time i'm in that chill zone but still i took out time to come and record this reading so that i can serve you guys with the guidance that you're looking for and even i was being called to put up this video to be very honest so yes that is why i'm doing this and yeah that's about it so let's just begin with the reading now hi pile number 1 so all those who have selected this one the kunzite bracelet let's just see what is the answer to your yes and no yes or no question okay so for you we've got attachment for me this is a no and what i'd suggest to you that whatever you've asked like whatever question you've asked right now you need to detach yourself from the outcome there's something which you've been trying to manifest be it a new job a person or whatever man whatever money or stability ascension no matter what you've been trying to manifest you are highly highly attached to the outcome 
and you really need to detach yourself if you want the answer to turn into a yes but for now as per the current energies whenever you're watching this it's a no for you all right thank you all right hi pile number two all those who've chosen this rudrakshan uh, clear cords bracelet let's just see if uh, like you've got a yes or a no think of a question any question quickly it's a timeless reading so whenever you're watching this it applies to you and let's just see what you have in store for you all right so we've got the community card over here and for me it's a yes to be honest and i feel that whatever you've asked about it is a yes for you it is going to work out for you and in general too you're in for a time of you know socializing meeting people coming into partnerships into contracts into maybe meeting your soul tribe you know for some of you and you know you're in for a time of socializing meeting new people and making contacts networking family gatherings gatherings uh, like enjoying with your friends and stuff like that all in all i feel you in for for that period where you are at a very chilled space and you're happy you're meeting people and there's just love happiness and you sharing memories together be it your career be it your love life be it your family whatever it is your friends it's a yes for you and yes i don't know who needs to hear this if you are somebody who's asked about something related to your health or your beauty i don't know who you are pile number 2 but you're very attractive and you are attracting a lot of glow up in your life at this point of time this is a channeled intuitive message which i got i wasn't prepared for this but spirit wanted me to let you know that you are in for a period of a major glow up and you're going to look your best trust me on that so yeah all right thank you pile number 2 Hi pile number 3 so all those who have chosen this bracelet the black and gold bracelet i'm really sorry okay if you can hear the sound or whatever so yes i'm really sorry and uh, let's just see oh if we've got a yes or a no for you i hope you're ready with your question as always it's a timeless reading it applies to all areas of your life so whatever you've asked about let's just figure out if it's a yes or a no for you all right so so we have the door to value in reverse i don't know if you can see this so we have this in reverse so yes i think you might have understood as well that it's a no for you and it's a no for you in regards to any area of your life and this is because the universe wants you to explore right now it wants because you deserve better to be honest and you've been in your comfort zone you need to you need not you know just stick to one thing so if it's a, for example if you've asked a career based question that will i get xyz job and the answer is no you won't now why you want is because you are not exploring your options you have many other options to work upon but you are just focusing on one job so this is the time for you to explore yourself your talents the possibilities and just believe that you deserve something bigger and better and keep working towards it you know your intuition is definitely guiding you you need to listen to your heart more and you need to you need not be so focused on whatever you're trying to manifest and especially if you're trying to manifest money or if you're going through a financial constraints at this point of time when you're seeing the reading you need to you know change the way you think and approach money 
and you need to be more grateful appreciate what you have in the now if you want to attract more and one more thing it this is such a synchronicity because this is all about money the bracelet that you have chosen is all about money this attracts good luck this attracts a lot of money in your life and you have def- and you've chosen pile number 3 and it is door to value for me see for me this is money door to value if you ask me of course it applies to other areas of your life but it is majorly focused on finances all right so yes and if you want you can definitely go for this bracelet because i feel that this is really going to work for you you need not buy from me you can buy it from anybody else as well but you should definitely consider wearing this bracelet because it is going to help you out a lot so in short the answer to your question is a no all right i'll catch you next time thank you hi pile number 4 So I hope that you are clear in your head as to what you want to ask when it comes to a yes or no question. So if you've chosen this rose cards, let's just see what we've got. As this is a timeless reading, so whenever you are watching this, it applies, yeah. All right. So there was the sound of the lift. And of course, I take this into consideration whenever I'm doing a reading. So for me what this suggests is that something big is going to happen in your life very soon but let's just see first if you've got a yes or a no but you're in for something big that is for sure <laughs> all right <laughs> lovely so we've got the world card it's a yes for you whatever you've asked it's a yes and trust me i don't know who you are but you are in for something extremely huge in your life this applies to even you get, getting recognized worldwide and i'm fumbling at this moment so you know plus there's a lot of sound that i can hear right now which also talks about celebration so whatever you've asked it's a yes you're in for a lot of celebration in your life you have completed a cycle in your life and you're beginning something new and you are going to be recognized for your talents if you want and even if you don't want to you will be so whoever you are whatever you do you are in for something extremely huge when i say huge i mean it yeah and this could be you receiving love from all over the world you have chosen rose cards for you and you've got the world card so yeah who are you you're in for a lot of public recognition your social standing is going to improve so yes whosoever you are it's a yes for you i could have said a lot more but because i want to keep this reading short I am finishing it off over here but yeah good luck all right i'll catch you in the next video see ya hi pile number 5 oh, welcome to your reading i hope you're ready with your yes or no questions so if you've chosen the evil eye let's just see what's in store for you so we've got uh, the thinking man in reverse if you can see i don't know um, yeah so it's a no all right it's a no at this point of time the universe wants to let you know that you are not following your soul calling there is something which you really want to do but you're not doing you you are not happy wherever you are currently in your life but you are scared of taking any sort of risk as well mhm but the universe is encouraging you i don't know what you've asked to be very honest 
So whatever you've asked, take it as a no and take this as an additional message, even if it is not related to your yes or no question, because you need to hear this at this point of time. Okay. You are meant to do something which you are aware about, but you don't want to accept it. I don't know why. Maybe because it is something unconventional and you're not sure how people are going to take it. But then the universe really wants you to, you know, follow your calling. All right. And there's this constant sound that is coming from the outside. As I mentioned in the beginning of the reading that we are having some festival going on and there's a lot of sound that's going to come. So for me, this is like the universe trying to shake you up and tell you to, you know, get up. It's time. Hello. The universe is knocking at your door. That why aren't you doing what you want to do? If you want to be a healer, teacher, writer, a psychic, a performer, why aren't you being that? Why are you holding yourself back? That is what the universe is asking you at this point of time. Stop doing that. If you're not happy in your current job, switch it up. If you're not happy in your career, in your job and career is one and the same thing, but then there are people who are freelancers, there are pe people who want to create, who are not into a job, man. For So it's just that if you're not happy, even in your relationship, why are you in it? Why are you scared to leave your person behind? Be in your heart, whatever you've asked, you know that is not serving you. All right. So it's time to move on, move on and chase something that is, chase something that you deserve because you deserve something that is grand. Your soul is constantly guiding you, my love. Listen to your soul, okay? I want to keep it short, so I'll end it here. So whatever you've asked, unfortunately, it's a no. And not unfortunately also. Let's just, you know, be happy about it because you're definitely being guided to something bigger and better. Yep. I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.